think it's a good thing because it's a concrete yeah. apparatus. So these children want to feel the yeah. things and see it. So Six Piece has been very helpful in maths, in English, because in English they build stories using the bricks. Multiplication is a tough one because sometimes the kids also struggle with the addition. But now with the six bricks, they're physically doing it and they're interacting with the blocks and with me as well. It's also been very helpful for life skills, teaching balance, if they put it on their head, if they put it on their feet. So we did a repeated addition. I used the different colors and I incorporated the six bricks. The memory activity, I will put on the, the blocks on my board, give them 10 seconds or 15 seconds to look. They do it, yeah, very informal, so that they don't feel, well, I couldn't get it right. There's nothing of that when we do these blocks. The one teacher actually said, why don't we use the six bricks as emotions? So we, we gave each color an emotion, okay? Jealousy, love, contentment, yeah. happy, whatever. Yeah. And that made a very awesome um, life skills lesson. I think also the fact that it doesn't necessarily go with all things. You know, sometimes you're gonna have to think a little extra, be more creative. We used it for intervention. That is the children who need a little bit more help. And my learner is definitely a change because a lot of learners struggle with just you standing there speaking. Yeah. You know, the information will not go in because yeah. there's no practical work. If you are a teacher, you must improvise and think out of the box because I have to be creative, they have to be creative. So it forces your mind to think beyond what you see because what you see is six bricks. Yeah. You know, what can I do with this? It's six bricks, what can I do with it? Build your future. Yeah. Thinking outside the norm using six bricks. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Okay.